Sugar, sugar everywhere. Sugar, sugar everywhere. Focus question: How can we find sugar in our everyday foods? Introduction: Do you have a sweet tooth? Do you like gooey desserts and sugary treats? You might be surprised to learn that desserts and treats are not the only foods that have sugar in them. That's because sugar can be found in foods you wouldn't expect. What is sugar? Sugar is a natural ingredient in plant foods and milk. The sugar found in milk is lactose. The sugar found in most grains, fruits, and vegetables is fructose. Apples, pears, and grapes are naturally full of sugar. Starchy vegetables such as potatoes and yams contain even more. The white crystal people sprinkle on cereal and in coffee and. Our table sugar, table sugar is sucrose. The lactose, fructose, or sucrose molecules in the food are bonded together. When meat, the body breaks apart the bones and turns those sugar into a simpler form of sugar called glucose. Glucose enters the bloodstream and is carried through the body. Glucose in the body's bloodstream is food for cells. It provides energy for work, working muscles and organs. Organs. The body needs some glucose to stay alive. Worldwide, notice that lactose, fructose, sucrose, and glucose have all the same ending. The suffix "os" and identify identify things as sugar. What happens to sugar we eat? Hiding in plain sight, our bodies want sugar because it is a source of energy. However, the, this does not mean that eating lots of sugar is a healthy choice. The body can get all the sugar it needs from naturally sweet and starchy foods. Modern diets include plenty of foods that contain contain not only natural sugar but also added sugar. Cakes, cookies, ice cream, and candy have added sugar. Sugar is also added to foods you might not accept. A fruit smoothie has lots of vitamins and some natural sugar. It may seem like a healthy choice, but some types of smoothies may also have added sugar. In fact, a smoothie may have just as much sugar as a glass of fizzy soda pop. You can even find sugar in foods that do not seem very sweet. Prepared tomato products like pasta sauce and ketchup often add added sugar, just like smoothies. This is especially true. For low-fat prepared foods, many people think low-fat means healthier. They may not know that are eating sugar instead of fat. Sugar is often used to replace fat in low-fat foods. Breakfast cereal can be another source of sugar. Many cereal has sweet bits of candied fruit or marshmallow added. Some cereals made of just plain flakes might have been given. A dusting of sugar to make them taste sweeter. Some people eat cereal every day for breakfast. If that sounds like you, it is important to understand how much sugar your favorite cereal contains. One cup shredded wheat, grams of sugar, zero gram. One cup toasted oats, grams of sugar, one gram. One cup of corn flakes, grams of sugar, two gram. One cup of crispy crisp rice, grams of sugar, three gram. One cup of raisin bran, grams of sugar, eighteen gram. Too much can be unhealthy. Why can eating too much sugar be an unhealthy choice? The body cannot just get rid of the sugar. It does not use. Instead, it changes the sugar to fat. Fat can clog blood vessels, forcing the heart to work harder to push blood through them.
people who have a condition known as diabetes must be especially careful about eating sugar. Their bodies cannot process the level of sugar that is in their blood. Sugar levels can easily go too high or too low. These changes can harm organs like the kidneys and the heart. Diabetes and insulin. People who have diabetes cannot make enough insulin, a substance to help progress process sugar in their blood. They have to use insulin made in a lab. Insulin cannot be made into a pill like many other medicines can be. The pill would break down during digestion. People who need insulin can get it using a shot or a small pump that is placed inside the body. It delivers the insulin through a tube. Searching out the sweet, sweet stuff. So, how can people guard against eating too much sugar? One way is to eat more natural food and less processed food. Pro- processed foods are made by medicine in factories. Sugar is often added to them. People that are cooked or prepared by people are often healthier than foods that are processed in factories. Another way to limit sugar is to read labels on packaged food. Most food labels have a list of ingredients. The ingredients are listed in order by the amount present in the food. If sugar is one of the first few ingredients listed, the product probably has plenty of it. People can prepare labels or on products to see which ones have more or less added sugar. Sugar makes food sweet. It can fill our body and keep us going, but eating too much sugar can harm our health. That's why it's important to look for sugar in the food we eat. Sugar can be almost anywhere.